As I was saying, I didn't see this coming. Well, you really screwed it up, and I'm not gonna stand for it. You told me everything was okay. Listen, I'm not taking the blame for this. You are. What? But you said... Forget what I said. Listen. I am Sheikh Hamdan, the Crown Prince of Dubai and the heir to the throne of the United Arab Emirates. I have the responsibility and the obligation to do what is best for my country's prosperity. But when I kiss you, it's like the whole world gets hazy and the only thing in focus is you. Like the Quran states, I know that there's one person, the person I'm meant to be kissing and bearing children with, but I did not know it would be you, Catherine. And Allah has given me this amazing gift. And I want to cry and laugh at the same time because I'm so glad that I've met you, but so scared it'll all go away. That was illuminating. Whatever, that's the way it is. Well, let me tell you something. I was raised in a certain etiquette. My parents were very strict and proper, and they made it clear every day that I was not an average girl, nor would I ever become one being in this family. That we all had certain responsibilities and duties that we had to live up to, and there was no room for error. I mean, I learned how to sit and eat and fold my napkin the proper way before I was six years old. Can you any idea the amount of pressure placed upon me to marry into a suitable family? And now I've done just that. I am the Duchess of Cambridge, and it's because of that that I have to set aside all my personal and romantic feelings for you and do what is royally being asked for me, for the sake of my husband and the royal family. I can't do this with you. I don't even know how to begin to try. I didn't know about that. Excuse me, Mom. Come on, we can't be late. So what do you want to do? Well, whatever we do, we need to do it now. I don't think I can do it. I don't think you really understand. If this comes out in the media, it's going to be tragic for me, yes, but it's going to be even more detrimental for you. I know about you getting drunk and that bar fight you had with another UN rep when you were visiting England last year. I'm not sure you can afford another scandal. How do you know that? Let's just say I know. No one was supposed to know Let's that. Let's just say that I know. What if I told everybody that your pregnancy is a sham? According to my sources, William is planning to divorce you, but he just doesn't know when would be the right time to tell the media that you're no longer the Duchess of Cambridge. Go ahead. Here's what I'm prepared to do. I'll call a press conference. I'll tell everyone about your drinking and your violent temper. That the pressure of doing what is best for your country has driven you back to the bottle. You lied about my pregnancy, and you've been trying to attack my family in your pitiful scheme of revenge against my rejection of you years before. You blackmailed me into meeting you and lying to my husband about it. And you swore you'd do anything in your power to bring him down if I ever told the truth. Who do you think people are going to believe? The innocent and beloved Duchess of Cambridge? Or once alcoholic, hot-tempered prince trying to cover up his media woes? All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have my security team erase all the facts that Prince William has on us. You know that your life with William is boring compared to the experiences we share. But I know from a media standpoint, being with William looks great, you know? It's great for the public eye. But if you want us to keep our secret, you have to make sure that the House of Windsor supports the Muslim countries against Israel's attacks on them. That support has to be broadcast through all media platforms. Let me think about it. Don't take too long. Glad we had this discussion. Me too.